Chris Dairo, KTN News in Nairobi. For that now to this heartbreaking story. Family members of the late Rita Waini Mwendo have confirmed that the head recovered in a dam in Kiambu County belongs to their daughter. Government pathologist Johansen Odwar, who conducted a post-mortem on the head Thursday, however said this must be scientifically authenticated. He said results from the autopsy on Waini's head have indicated that the late was strangled before her body was cut into pieces. KTN's Odea Francis has returned from the city mortuary and brings us the following report. After the head believed to be that of Rita Waini Wendo was brought to the city mortuary, an autopsy was conducted today which revealed that Waini died by strangulation. Upon looking at that uh, head, the main findings were that uh, the head had been chopped off on the neck at the level of uh, C5 uh, vertebra. This is the vertebra on the neck. Um, there were bruising on the scalp, which to me looked like uh, caused by a blunt object. And then upon looking at the next structures, we also saw um, some fractures of uh, bones, uh, which are usually very important in uh, homicide. One of the bones is called hyoid bone, which was fractured. Then there was what is called thyroid cartilage also, which had some fracture and hemorrhage. The head that was found last week from the Ite Dam in Kiamba area, Kiambu County, was covered with a blouse and placed in a green carrier bag, has now been identified by Rita's family, as has. The family told me that uh, the forehead uh, looked like uh, that of uh, their, their, their loved one. And uh, they talked about the hair. They also talked about uh, the, the teeth, the way the tooth. The teeth is usually very, very important in uh, identification. So those are the things they talked about. So though they are very sure she's the one, but we still need to, to go scientific. So from all this, I can uh, comfortably conclude that uh, what caused uh, the death of that uh, young lady was uh, strangulation, after which uh, she was decapitated and uh, the body dumped. The autopsy report revealed that the girl was strangled by her attacker. According to the government pathologist, his examination also showed that she was hit with a blunt instrument. DNA particles have been taken along with two teeth, also part of the neck with thyroid and part of the spinal cord in the back of the neck have been taken for further investigations. What actually we've done today, because uh, the head is uh, decomposed and uh, being decomposed we have to be very sure and use scientific ways of uh, knowing if indeed this uh, head belonged to that of that lady. So there are samples we've taken which will undergo DNA just to match uh, this uh, head to the body which had been performed autopsy. In another disturbing story, another murder of a 26-year-old man has been reported after his body was found on Wednesday morning in a hotel near the Thika Highway. Nimekuja kwa sababu ndugu yangu amepatikana kwa hoteli, amelala, akiwa amekufa, akiwa marehemu jana. Saa hizi tuko hapa city mortuary, tukishangaa sana, mtu anakuja shughuli zake za kibiashara anaingia kulala baadaye anapatikana amefia kwa hoteli jamani sijui hii dunia tutaenda wapi naomba kwamba wanaohusika kwa sababu ndugu yangu amepatikana akawa amekufa akiwa kijana mdogo miaka 26 kijana mdogo sana sheria kama kuna wala wanaofuatilia zaidi waweze kufuatilia tuweze ili haki iweze kutendeka the dead body was identified as Silas Chacharioba huyu kijana ambaye sasa amepatikana na mauti hii kijana mdogo ambaye tumempoteza amekuwa mtu wa biashara amekuwa mtoto mzuri sana is a hard working boy lakini sasa imekuwa visa vya aina hii vya kupoteza watoto wachanga very young people energetic mtu anakuja anaingia kwa hoteli analala the family of the deceased is now calling for speed investigations to find the killers of Rioba. Now, even as the family of Waeni confirmed the discovered head to be Waeni's, the detectives and the government has stressed that they have to do more analysis of DNA to ascertain indeed it was Waeni's head. All this happening while the main suspect still at large. Ode Francis, KT News, City Mochari. Nairobi. A worrying trend. Now let's head to Nakuru where 